The US is dropping tens of thousands of bombs on the Middle East and Africa in what it calls its fight against terror on countries such as Libya, Afghanistan, Iraq, Somalia and Pakistan. And since the beginning of the fight against Daesh, also known as ISIS, in 2014, the US has dropped nearly 50,000 bombs in Iraq and Syria alone, accidentally killing thousands of innocent people. The Pentagon says these airstrikes in Iraq and Syria have, quote, unintentionally only killed 801 civilians. But many monitoring groups say that's not the case. According to Air Wars, a non-profit organization tracking civilian casualties in the Middle East, the US-led coalition airstrikes have actually led to the deaths of more than 5,900 civilians. How did that number get so high? Here are some examples. On March 17th, more than 200 civilians were killed by US airstrikes in the Iraqi city of Mosul. And the day before, a US aircraft attacked a mosque full of worshippers in a village in Syria's Eppo. That attack killed at least 38 of the 300 people there. The US military initially denied they did anything wrong, claiming they targeted a meeting hall and took all the necessary measures to save civilian lives. But later, investigations made it clear that the target they hit was a very well-known mosque. The situation is similar in other countries that the US is bombing. Take Libya, for example. The US military is confirmed to have conducted at least 495 airstrikes in Libya since August 1, 2016. Locals and other sources reported many civilian deaths, but the US military has only reported two of them, which were hostages killed by the bombings. The civilian death toll in Afghanistan cannot be ignored either. Since mid-2016, when former President Obama approved new rules of engagement, which allowed the army to open fire in support of Afghan operations, apart from just defending coalition forces, US drones and warplanes have been pushing harder in the country. The result? At least 5,200 civilians were killed and 11,000 injured in Afghan and American airstrikes. That's only since 2016. Numbers during the Obama era drone war are even harder to come by. Now think about this. These attacks happen almost daily, and on the receiving end of these bombs are many...